at least with ruxolitinib, many patients, I'm sorry, many clinicians in the community have been reluctant uh, to utilize ruxolitinib relatively early um, because we didn't have the long-term uh, data available to us that we have, say, for other agents such as hydrea and busulfan and some of the other agents out there. Uh, so I think as these data mature, people will become more, more comfortable, or they won't, depending on the long-term data. But so far, I think it's very encouraging. With all of these drugs, one of the things that we, uh, we ultimately see happening is uh, uh, reluctance early on. And I think ruxolitinib experienced that uh, tremendously. Um, we know that there are some limitations of the agent, but again, I think some of those limitations are wearing off as data is maturing. And I think the same thing is going to happen with fedrotinib, and I think that's, that's the bottom line. The more agents we have, uh, we go through that period of experience, of commercial experience for, for our patients, and uh, God willing, it makes a difference.